What we got? What we got? I don't know which ones I want to uh. wear. There's the Concords. Okay, classy. There's these Panda Dunks. Ooh, also a good option. The hot, are they Dunks though? They are Dunks, right? They're just high top? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, baby. The is dirty. Ooh, dirty, dirty. You need yeah, to clean that. I don't that. know about those. The Amiris. Ooh. I don't know which ones I want to wear. I'm not going to lie. Can I pick? Go ahead. What's your pick? And then I'll tell you what's my pick. I pick the Amiris because you're wearing an Amiri shirt. See, I, I would have hoped you said Concords. Why? Because I think I want to do the Concords. The Concords are nice. Actually, I think the Concords would look better. All right, Concords it, it is. Because it accentuates the black shorts. Concords it is. Yeah, go put those back. Guys, we are a mess. We I told Isaiah to like lock them in together so they don't do this. He was like, we don't have to do that. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> So my, oh, oh, you scared me. My options for today are these. I don't know if I should wear these or let's see, let's see. I haven't wore my classic icy whites Arf. in so long. Arf. Then what else? I also have, where are my Prada sneakers at? Are they downstairs? I don't know. Oh yeah, so I think my Prada sneakers are downstairs. So those are my three options, but I think I'm going to go with these. I have to try them on with my outfit to see how they look. You should go with those because I already put the icy whites back in because that was a hard gnar. Why? Bro, those do not look good with what you're wearing. They're not going to show. My pants are like bigger than my... Still, I just don't think they would look good. I like the New Balance is better. More color, more pop, more pizzazz. <laughs> I don't know if I should wear my Dior purse or if I should wear a white purse. Bruh, the, what color is the color of the Dior one? It's like nude. It's like, yeah, like a, it's like a peachy nude. So then that one, yeah, that one would look better. You think? 100%. Why is my. <laughs> Alright, but why you gotta do that creepy smile? It can't see. It's all white. What? It's white on camera. They can't see. She said, but why you gotta say I'm not a good freestyler? <laughs> She's over here doing that creepy smile. What are you doing? Looking at me? I'm about to go out to eat. It's too soon, like black. Huh? I'm about to go out to eat. You're about to what? Go out to eat. <laughs> what you gonna eat? I don't know yet. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Guys, let me handle this real quick. All right, guys, so we are ready to go. These are our outfits. Go ahead and rate them. We're gonna go ahead. <laughs> this is what I'm I went with. Short as hell. <laughs> this is what I went with, right? So let me know what you guys think. Go ahead, show them yours. Show this me. is mine. This is what Isaiah picked. Honestly, I feel like there's a lot of different shades of brown. I would have went with white, but it's all neutral colors. My shoes. Do you see the my shoes? Hell? Oh hello, Nene. You were upstairs the whole time, Nene. He was in the bed. There you go. See. <laughs> I think they look good. I think they look good. So this is a fit. All right. <laughs> Are you bumping into me? Stop. I'm ready for lunch. All right, you acted too brand new. I've got an Amiri shirt. So Rip me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. What's going on, Infinite Fam? QP. QP ski. All right, so obviously we did a little fit check or whatever, and now we are on our way. We we're starting our day. Not so... I'm gonna yell at y'all if y'all didn't like give me a rating in the comments. <laughs> rate the fits. I'm not joking. Rate them. They're right. gonna give you a zero. I don't care as long as they rate it. That's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. So right now we are on our way to get something to eat, and we have kind of a busy day ahead of us. Got a couple meetings to get done or whatever, but. The main thing that we're doing today has to do with me and I'm gonna keep it brief because I'll explain in more detail after but I have a doctor's appointment today there's some complications that I have went through I don't know if you guys know but I have gotten a rhinoplasty done now a schnozzle. yeah like three years ago and to make a long story short I got botched I know Explain it doesn't what botched means. so botched means that some way somehow they messed up my nose during surgery and I have spent these last three years not being able to breathe through my nose. Um, I am a mouth breather and it is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you mouth breather. <laughs> Shut up. Like sometimes I can breathe through my nose, but since moving to Florida, the breathing has gotten significantly worse. I can't breathe. The atmosphere is just too like 
too much, too humid, and I'm just stuffy all the time, and it's becoming a real serious problem. So yeah, I went to the doctors and they told me that there's basically nothing that they can really do for me. I went to an ENT, I cried, we tried to record it, but it was just such a bad day that um, I, just, I just couldn't, like I was just a mess. So today is a better day, I am hopeful because at the end of the day, the goal is to help me breathe. So that's what we're on our way to do today, and we're going to see what the doctor tells me. I don't know how I'm gonna react. I'm gonna try to stay positive. Long story short, she might need surgery. We uh -huh. hope that's not the case, because yeah. we do not want to go through that again. But that's worst case scenario, but yes. we're staying positive. We are staying positive. Irregardless, I do have to get some type of procedure done to help my breathing. We're just praying that I don't have to do a whole revision rhinoplasty, because that is going to be, <sighs> Just not fun. My first experience wasn't fun. I mean, it's worst, on camera, but <laughs> worst case scenario, yeah. If you guys haven't seen those videos, go back and look. It was bad. It was very but, bad. Yeah. If anything, like we can just do that at home, like the revision. I can. Shut up. Bro, I, I've been watching the Good Doctor. Like I can do it. They have not done a single rhinoplasty on the Good Doctor. They've done heart transplants. If I can study a heart transplant, I think I can like fix your nose. I think a uh, nose job is more complex. I forgot, you got a PhD. <laughs> I do, I have a PhD. No, you don't. A pretty huge <laughs> All right, anyway, we'll catch you when we go eat. We'll catch you when we go eat, you do it too much. We made it to the spot. Your boy is gonna get some chips and salsa, while babe over here is gonna get some, what do you get? Edamame. Garlic, Garlic and rice. lime edamame. Fire, so good, Ugh. so excited. I want you guys to comment, appetizers, what would you guys get? And as far as entree, what would you guys get? I'm gonna go down the menu for you guys. All right, babe, so what'd you get for an entree? So I got, it's called a Mexican bowl. It has like avocado, uh, cotija cheese, steak, coconut, avocado, rice, fire. Then I got some edamame, obviously. And drink? I got a lavender ginger drink. Your boy ended up getting a cucumber mint aqua fresca. So refreshing. And as far as the entree, I got a fajita bowl with uh -huh. coconut, avocado, rice, charred chicken. Uh -huh. And it has green peppers and onions and some lime sauce thing. I forgot what it's called. Nice. But it's nice. It's good. It's healthy. <laughs> it's all healthy here, right? Until you get to the cookies. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Alright y'all, we are done eating. It was a very satisfying meal. I don't think that we got... Did we get the clips of the food that we ate? I don't think so. We did after we already messed it up. Yeah, it was really cute. Um, uh, follow us on IG because I, I'm gonna post like a picture of the before meal. But yeah, so right now we're about to go home. We're gonna be on a quick call with um, one of our friends. He's a photographer. And we're gonna just chat about some stuff with him. <laughs> You could tell them what we're getting a photographer for. They're not gonna see anything until obviously the day of. Okay, so obviously you guys know we're like wedding shopping. So we're in the looks of photographers, videographers, you know, all that we need for our wedding. So we're gonna have a chat with him and you know, see what's going on with that. But yeah, this is super exciting. Uh, we'll see you guys when we get home and let you know how the whole call went. Yeah. Isaiah's full. Look at that. Three months. <laughs> Say, I'm playing with mommy. Now you come, 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 uh, we just had the phone call with the photographer. Everything went well, smooth. Swimmingly. Good vibes. Um, we haven't decided yet 100% who we're going with, but I think we have about a half hour to kill. Okay. I guess we'll just play with Nene until we have to go to your doctor's appointment. Yay! Playtime, playtime. <laughs> so yeah, guys, just like I said, we have about a half hour to kill. We're gonna just play with Nene, get him to roll over a couple more times, and then we're gonna go in the car, <laughs> head over to her doctor's appointment, and we'll see you guys there. You nervous? little bit <laughs> ain't nothing to be nervous about we're gonna go they're gonna find a solution whatever the solution is is to 
make sure you can breathe better. That's the main thing here. Yeah. No more mouth breather, because you will be morning. Every morning I turn around, I wake up and I be like, good morning, Ben. And then all I hear is. <sighs> Shut up. I don't be snoring. You will be the one. He be the one snoring, not me. Nah, I'll be snoring up a storm, guys. I'll be shaking the house. Yeah, I don't know how I don't snore, which is crazy to me, because oh. I breathe through my mouth. <laughs> Whatever, though. But right now it says we got about. 40 yeah, minutes. We got about a 40 minute drive to Tampa. All right. And this is probably like the worst time school just got out. So the traffic is going to be stupid. Yeah. This is the only appointment time they had. And it, I booked this like literally like almost a month ago. And at 3.50 p.m. Like that's the weirdest appointment time I've ever had. It is a weird time. 3.50. You couldn't just say four? Round like up? Like four o'clock? Like. <laughs> whatever. I mean, overall though, like I said, we're staying in positive vibes. We said that from the beginning of the video. They're going to find a solution for you. That's the main thing here. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the main thing here. No matter how they do it, it's just going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good outcome. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so we'll catch up with you as soon as we get there in about 40 minutes. After a long drive, we are finally here. Made it to, I'm not even going to say where because then y'all going to stalk us and get her <laughs> medical notes and we don't need all that. Yeah, we made it. So, how are you feeling right now? I just want to go in, get it over with, and that's it. it I is just wanna, what it is. Yeah, I just want to go in there and be like, Doc, fix her. She's mouth breathing. Like, she's breathing on me heavy. Bro, imagine she's like, yeah, I can do it right now. Let's do it. I'm like, alright, we'll do it. I'll be like, nah, chill, chill, chill. Knock me out first. <laughs> oh my God. Here we go with the knockout <laughs> stuff. Um, Dude, I don't want to feel all that pain. You don't know if it's going to be painful or not? Yes, I do. There's this one girl that got a turbinate reduction on TikTok. And I was looking it up and she was like, it's the worst pain that she ever felt in her life. And I'm super, super sensitive, like, since I got the surgery. So I know it'll hurt. Well, we're not going into it expecting the worst. Okay. Yeah, no, but I'm still not gonna be like, yeah, it's not gonna hurt. I know. The main thing you gotta look at is we're, we're finding a solution to your problem. That's what it is. That's what I we're understand. here for. We're finding a solution. That's what we're here for. We're gonna get the solution. So, guys, I don't know if we're gonna be able to film in there because it is a medical building and that stuff is supposed to be confidential and stuff like that. So, I mean, we might just catch up with you guys when we get out and let you know everything that happened. It's going down. Basement, Friday the 13th. Get to play it, Jason. Why does it say an hour and seven minutes to get home? We should go somewhere, like a Starbucks oh or something. Oh my God, bro. It's no, literally that's supposed to be a 40 minute drive. Why is it an hour and five minutes? Because it's five o'clock. This is rush hour. No, for real. Let's go find somewhere to like sit and... Where are we... Wait, don't drive yet. Why don't we just like try to look where, something no, up? Where? where let's find a, a crumble cookie. Let's see. Go to the gas station. There's a gas station. Right there. Wait, no. Let's find a crumble cookie because I think this week they have the, like the cookie. strawberry there's milk a cookies. Crumble cookie by our house, and that's gonna take an hour and seven minutes to get to. Babe, but what if we just like wait till traffic dies down? No. You're gonna wait another two hours in a parking lot just for the traffic to die down? Babe, no. I'm saying we go somewhere in this area. I don't know anything in this area. We're in Carajo land. That's why I just said to look it up. This guy. I'm smiling because I'm just being very positive about everything and life in this situation. Because I feel like I am I got very blessed. So first of all, we go in and they said it was going to be an hour wait. And I was like, oh my gosh, there were so many people there. I get anxious with a lot of people. Anyway, they took us in right away. And then the doctor was super nice. She was very informative. She like made me feel comfortable with what's about to happen so first of all she said she books out like further than like a month or two and she said she had an availability this monday for me to get a procedure done so i need to get a turbinant or turbinate reduction which is the soft tissue as she described it around the nose um and i also had scar tissue built up that is like closing my nose in and so that's just all that i have to do i am thankful and i'm just super happy because i was just praying that i did not have to get a, a whole revision done so that's what we're doing so on monday that's literally in four days i have to get that procedure done i'm not gonna lie they said it's gonna be uncomfortable i'm gonna have to have splints up my nose which i didn't have for my rhinoplasty maybe this is why that happened yeah so i'm just being grateful um and just trusting in god everything happens in god's plan this is what god intended and i learned my lesson no more messing with my nose <laughs> And uh, yeah, the goal is to help me breathe and I'm just happy to finally feel that relief and to be able to breathe and just like lay the right way. There's just so many struggles guys, but I'm just grateful overall and that there's a solution and it's not extreme. Yeah, no, you definitely got, I don't know, God's on your side today. He's on your side every day, but yes. you, you getting lucky today. 
No, I don't believe in luck. I believe in Jesus. So yeah, her surgery. You told them one. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I told them one. So it's literally in four days, which is crazy. So yeah, if I you told, guys see her all bruised up. You guys don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't ask all of that. I'm just not going to. I'm just gonna be like whatever. Just going with the flow. Yeah. All she said was she said it was a simple per, uh, procedure, and she said that basically all it's gonna be is like I'm gonna be uncomfortable, yes. which I've gone through so much that I'm just like I can handle it. That's pretty much everything, and we will catch you guys when we get home. Or maybe I say it will stop at Carbo Cookie for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we finally made it back home. It was about like an hour and a half of driving. The traffic was crazy. It started thunderstorming. I'm just happy to be back home. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, guys, we're about to go probably shower and go to like bed and rest and just relax. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Everything came out in a positive way. And we'll see you guys all in the next video.